All right, guys. <clears throat> Casual episode today. I don't know if there's going to be a tip of the day, but um, I'm just going to do a quick portfolio update in terms of my stock portfolio. I think I'm going to be doing this on a monthly basis. This is more for me. Um, I'm going to kind of do a portfolio defense in public. So what that means is I'm going to walk through my thesis for investing in each thing and talk about it with you guys. And I think a fun little experiment we can do is if you guys can poke holes or talk about what you do better in my position in terms of if, uh, equities investment. But um, I think this will be a fun thing to try. And uh, quick FYI, guys, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Australia uh, Sydney time, I'm going to be doing a live stream, just like a 30-minute live stream. Uh, I might have to move it 30 minutes earlier um, because our checkout time is 10 a.m., but I'll ask them to see if I can check out 30 minutes later tomorrow. But um, I, that should be fun. But first, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Let's get on the creatine. Oh, I, I had so many meetings yesterday in person. That was great. Um, really fun to chat with other people. All right, let's go. All right, so yesterday we did 11.6K in total revenue. That's up only $40 from the day before. Amazon at 6,500. Mediavine at 3,670. FanFuel and Cell Health at 384. And OnlyFans at $1,045. Um, pretty good day, but let's dig into the numbers now. All right, so taking a look at Amazon numbers, uh, yesterday total ordered revenue was 120.7K. Um, that was on, I think Thursday, I believe. So right now, Saturday, um, Friday should be a dip. So tomorrow we should see a dip and, um, yeah, not much to report about pretty good numbers. Let's have a look at Levanta. So yesterday we did about a hundred, oh, 1.1 K that's, I think all time high. Yeah. All time, all time high in Levanta fucking clapping the cheeks of the sellers, um, 1.1k guys if you're not on levanta get on it please uh but yeah that i think that's a quick update on my revenue uh yeah before we get started um can you just comment portfolio for the youtube algorithm just just because it's a saturday i don't want to be doing this right now um would appreciate any engagement you guys can spare me but yeah let's let's talk so um i think we should do it like this. So I have four, four accounts here. And, um, I believe duh, 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 I have oh, three, I should have like total of seven brokerage accounts, separate accounts, but let's, let's just dive into uh quest trade first quest trade. Um, my, in my TFSA, I got Airbnb, which is still down from when I bought it. Palantir, which is up quite a bit, um, you know, 54%, pretty happy about that. Um, we got Royal Bank of Canada, which is um, just a bank in Canada. It's a really resilient bank. I think it pays something like, let's take a look, 4.2% yield at a 184 billion market cap Canadian. Um, so, oh God, every time I see Square, I cringe. My investment thesis for Square was that I was checking Google Trends and I saw Cash App was like mooning. So I was like, man, this shit's the next WeChat pay. So I just like th threw the kitchen sink at it. You guys will see it in my rest of my accounts, but I bought so much Square. And this is in my TFSA, which is like a tax shelter. Um, anything you trade in here, all the gains are, how do I say, um, non-taxable. So what I should have done is actually just done this S&P 500 and just chilled. I don't know why I did this, but yeah. So I also have this um, real estate like REIT in here. Um, I think this is commercial REIT. Also got clapped to hell. Uh, commercial uh, real estate got clapped. Meta. So I bought, um, I bought, I think, 5K worth of Meta a couple of days before earnings. It's up bigly. Um, my thesis here was I chatted with my buddy Roman, who's like, who owns a Alfred, it's like a huge e-com aggregator. And he said he was seeing some good things from Meta in Q4 and that Meta is quote unquote back. So I just 
through uh, bought 10 shares and also through, uh, sorry, bought some options. And that, that was up like 500%. It was great. Uh, Microsoft, you know, getting on the e- AI train and more boomer stocks. Anyways, I think the more, most interesting one. So I also, in, this is also my personal margin account. Um, have some Cloudflare that finally broke even fine. RSP, which is like some retirement savings thing in Canada. As you can see, got some square in here as well. Clapped my cheeks. Shopify up big. Microsoft, um, more commercial real estate. I got Google that's up. Uh, Rocket Mortgage clapped. And hopefully Cloudflare will have good earnings. So um, I might sell some ahead of time just so I don't fucking get clapped again. Uh, But let's see. Let's look at my largest holdings. Um, So this is pretty much just bonds. Um, They hold bank bonds and they pay, I forgot, see the yield. Um, I think it was like 5% uh, a year. So how it works is it just grows at 5% a year. And that's just how the um, company works. I don't, the holdings are bank bonds. So it's Canadian bank bonds. Pretty safe, I would say, in Canada. Um, second largest holding. So that I hold like fucking 433K of that shit. Um, that grew 5% last year. Uh, when I do sell it, it's not dividends. It's considered capital gains. That's why it's a better investment vehicle than something that pays like X percent dividends a year. Uh, Tesla, my entry price was $87. Not sure if I should hodl anymore. Um, I still believe in Tesla as a company, but I don't know. The news with Elon right now is not, not feeling too good, you know? Um, and then next up, we got some railways, Canadian railways, also a nice boomer stock pays out hella dividends. Well, 2%. It's all right. And then we got Walmart, Microsoft, the banks again, we got telecoms in Canada and yeah, uh, more square, as you can see clapped Roblox also clapped. I don't know why I did this. Um, I guess my question for you guys is, do you think I should like just sell my square stocks and just take the L throw that into S and P 500 and just kind of chill? I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, cut my losses on these bad trades and just move on or let me know what you guys think. Anyways, into my non-registered account. So this is just my stock portfolio in personal account, non-sheltered, um, I have some cash, which is they pay like 5% dividends on a monthly basis. Sorry, 5% annualized d- dividends on a monthly basis. It's essentially bonds. It's similar to the HSUV I had. Um, the rest is just S&P 500, a growth ETF, and a total market index, which I'm averaging in at a rate of, I believe, 8K a month on this account. Um, yeah, don't quote me on that, though. So that's the CAD, um, USD, what we got is Alibaba. I thought it was low enough. Um, still felt pretty good about it. And we got some Microsoft, which is up 22%. Um, and yeah, yesterday I did want to show you guys, I don't know how to show fucking, um, right. I want, I wanted to show my <coughs> meta cell. So before the, um, before the earnings, I was like, man, Meta's going to smash it. So I bought some, uh, 410 calls, uh, that expire pretty much in a couple of days and yeah, I sold it yesterday for, I think it's like 3.7 K profit. Just, just a bit of day trading that, you know, for fun, a bit of gambling, you know? And, um, what I got, I got quite a bit of cash as well. Um, yeah, you guys can see my spendings, but pretty much, uh, you get 5% interest if you hold like a huge balance and I'm doing that. Uh, I think I got paid like 1.5 K in just interest last month. Pretty nice. Um, and finally, before f- to wrap up, we got the managed uh, robo investor, which I think I average in at like 12 to 18 K a month. I forgot which one. Um, but yeah, we're the returns aren't great, but let's take a look at it. So um, it says 11.3% returns. And let's see the holdings. Yeah, it's got a lot of US equities. By the way, if you want to take a closer look, um, I added it in here and you can download this, uh, the sheets and the notes on, um, first link in the description to sign up for my newsletter as well. All right. In terms of uh, robo investor, um, yeah, 
rate of return isn't great, 11.3%. All this is annualized. Time weighted return is like 4.5%, so it's not great. Pretty much, I should have just bought bonds, but I did I have been averaging in for a long ass time since 2022. And yeah, and f finally we're getting into the green, but um, yeah, we were red for a bit. It was pretty interesting to see, like, look at this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my stock portfolio. Guys, what do you think I should do? Um, should I just do S&P 500 and chill? Uh, I have a lot of cash to deploy, but this is just a fun little exercise. Um, and if you guys have any questions at all, let's drop them in the comment section below and I'll get to them tomorrow during the live stream. Maybe I'll start off on the live stream uh, with the comments, I guess. And uh, let's chat then. All right, let's fucking go. Thanks for the comments, guys. Loving the hair. Thank you. Interested in hearing Levanta uh, alternatives. There's a gap in the market for UK version. Partner contract being assessed by prospect. Lawyer and speaking to the web team. February going to be busy. Rank and rent hack. Jackie, let's fucking go. Uh, love to hear it. Having a tough time ranking a rent, rank and rent in a big city. Used most of your tips. Local citations. Tearing them with PBN, on page, etc. Is it a patient issue been building links for 90 days um yeah i think really depends on how large of a city if you're talking like new york city you gotta chill all right start off something somewhere small especially if this is your first rodeo um go into the suburbs and uh go for long tails like instead of I don't know, towing you can do emergency towing does that make sense um but yeah, it's it's so cheap to start rank and rents. Just pop up a couple and then take the ones that win. Like, for example, I have th Physiotherapy East Vancouver and I have Physiotherapy Vancouver. Physiotherapy East Vancouver is ranking already. So let's, like, it's already on the front page. So let's try to target multiple areas at the same time and then just focus on the wins, all right? You got to spread yourselves a bit. Frank, what's going on? Question, I have a client who wants to build multiple cities, not really rank and rent. Um more but uh build and promote any ideas they want to do multiple cities you could but you sure you want to do rank and rent um i think yeah i think why not do it you can do exact match domain rank and rents for different cities and see how that goes keep me posted um i think it's worth a try j rob thank you for the comment thanks for the comment guys joseph thanks for the comment troll fent how is the subreddit doing I'm seeing a lot of similar subs popping up now. It's a bit tricky to get to the top spot of surfs at the moment with so many people going after it and also getting banned from subs. How do you cloak your links posted on Reddit? I don't post on subreddit. I only I had a bunch of domains, strong domains that were just kind of sitting there. I was like, might be a nice experiment to redirect some links into a subreddit to power it up and have you guys, you know, crowdsource the content. Um, how is it going? It's going well. Uh, if you throw into Ahrefs, it's doing quite well. I can do an update episode, but it's it's like quite simple. Um, and you won't get be you won't be getting banned from my subreddit because I don't do that. Uh, people who have been getting ghosts, uh, what is it? Uh, ghost banned or fuck? I don't know what what the term is, but like if you're getting banned in my subreddit, it's like Reddit's overall uh, bot software that's banning you. How do you cloak your links posted on Reddit? There's a lot of link cloaking software. Uh, Pixel 5, for example, is good. Uh, you guys can check that out. I've been doing SEO lately. Notice when I check some sites, I see strange IP domain that is ranked and you can apparently buy to link to those sites. Are those good or is it Black Hat Tactics that can get sites penalized? Yeah, don't do that. I don't know why you would buy the IPs. That's kind of weird. Man, you're a fucking legend. Keep on the good work. Thank you for the comment. Uh, Marcus says, uh, this reminds me of the restaurant that called themselves, themselves Thai Near Me. Exactly. Um, and it works. It's like, I think there's a best pizza in Brooklyn as well that's working well. What well, if you rent more than you rank? Uh, why not? Just take the money. Respect the hustle. Um, 10K isn't far ranking rent. Thank you. What are the parasites sites that you recommend to promote Amazon products and how do I rank high in articles on Google? Um, I think with Amazon products, you should be testing ones that work. So for example, Jerusalem Post, they have their own Amazon con uh, section. So if you wanted to do it, you could, but um, I think with Amazon affiliate, I would focus more on getting 
partnerships if you can. Uh, these one-off parasites, I'm, it's not very enticing because to make your money back with Amazon, it would take a long ass time if that makes sense. All right. Uh, thanks for the comment, guys. I'm in Melbourne. Would love to attend the coffee meetup. How do I DM you? I heard previously you didn't read tweets, but I would love to catch up. Um, I think the seating's full, unfortunately, but I will check and get back to you guys. Remember, DM me on Twitter. All right. That's all the time I have for today, guys. Um, could you remember to comment a uh, portfolio for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys in the live stream tomorrow. So it'll either be 9.30 a.m. or 10 a.m. Sydney time tomorrow. Um, so pretty much in like 11, uh, 23 hours or something like that. So I'll see you guys then.